Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gary GZ Duels, and I'm here today to play some dinosaurs. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to play this because uh, I recently discovered this card. Somebody used this deck on me, and I recently discovered the power of Jurak Aolo or something like that, and it's pretty awesome. So I um, decided to play with it. Uh, it's my playstyle because, you know, you'll just tank one monster with like a whole bunch of back row protecting it and you just make decisions uh it's pretty awesome so i summon out velo first because even if it gets destroyed by battle i can special summon out another velo from the deck well unfortunately my opponent has different plans so he destroyed my velo using card effect and he wants to use that male's effect to destroy my back row now i have fiendish chain so it's not too big of a deal for me right now um i think it's okay and it's also really good that he's playing uh, heretics because he's gonna leave monsters like the sun dragon thing that with zero attack and zero defense on the field so i can capitalize on that with my hydrogadon uh and then if i attack into it destroy it by battle i can spend some another hydrogadon and once that happens i can go and just uh, xyz into uh evil czar lakia really awesome <laughs> okay so uh, like i said once you have lagia though you really pretty much control the game you can dictate what your opponent can and cannot do uh it's pretty awesome um, the deck basically runs on these dinosaur monsters beat down. Um, he's gonna go into Thunder Charger. Um, I don't understand why he didn't go for it the first turn. Ap right after I used the, uh, right after I used the Phoenix Chain, he should have tried it at least, man, because like, uh, just attack directly if anything. So uh, my turn. I'm going to draw a card. Uh, it's Sabersaurus. I don't like drawing Sabersaurus, but it's not that bad because sometimes when you don't want to commit too much on the field and you don't really care about the Sabersaurus, you can just place it on the field. If it survives, it survives, and the next turn you summon another dinosaur monster, and then all of a sudden you can go into Doka. So now you have both Lagi and Doka, and it's pretty awesome. Uh, but unfortunately, my opponent has different plans for me. He wants to get rid of everything, so he's going to try Dragon's Mirror. Unfortunately, I don't have anything like Bottomless or uh, Mirror Force or whatever, so I can't let this Dragon Mirror go through. I have to negate it with Lagia's effect. Now he summons out Medi on the Time Lord because I do have two back row, keep in mind. And so he wants to try out to see if like they're anything. And uh, he attacks, it's not anything. So unfortunately, uh, I did lose my Lagia, but it's okay. I already used his effect, so it's not too big of a deal. Uh, end phase, I'm going to MST his face down card, and it's a Royal Decree. Uh, pretty good for me, but uh, unfortunately, I do have only spells right now. I don't have, I, it doesn't stand much of a chance against his strong monsters. Um, I do have another MST, so I'm going to set it. I'm going to special, I'm going to normal summon out Sabersaurus. Hopefully, it survives the turn, and then I can probably go back into Lagia. But my opponent, once again, has different plans for me. He's going to use Dragon's Mirror, bring out the five-headed dragon, the super awesome five-headed dragon, and he's going to attack my Sabersaurus. So poor Sabersaurus uh, dies, and I take 3,100 damage. That was, uh, that was really painful. Uh, now I'm looking at my back row. I don't have much. I draw into a Torrential Tribute, which is like... Thank God I have to set a monster because in case he just chooses to attack then my torrential tribute can't do anything But if I set a monster the likelihood of some of him summoning another monster and overextending is that much more uh, Likely uh, I know that he probably could have gone off more with his combo But then I wanted to use torrential tribute because there's no guarantee that he'll just keep summoning uh, I should just take the first summon uh, and then like just use torrential tribute destroy everything on the field before he just attacks me directly and I die Okay, he's going to uh, just set another card. Uh, right now, I think he probably doesn't have any traps in his uh, deck. He's probably like an OTK sort of uh, heretic deck. So uh, my MSTs are just hitting his Royal Decrees, which is pretty good since he, he can't lock down my uh, newly drawn awesome Bottomless and uh, Deep Prison. So now my opponent, his deck, you know, he's pretty consistent. He can search for whatever he wants with Convocation. He's going to normal summon out Esset, and then he's going to special summon out his other Heretic Dragon. He's going to try to do shenanigans. Um, I know that you can probably uh, uh, bottomless it, uh, the monster, at it like a different point, but... I chose the bottomless is right there because I wanted him to keep one of those monsters on the field, one of those zero attacks or defense monsters. Because if I happen to draw into something like Aolo or like Hydrogedon or <coughs> Dragwaiba, then you know, I can probably just uh, turn the whole duel around. I'm going to use his blue eyes on the field, attack over it, and then I'm going to use Dragwaiba's effect to summon out Drac Velo. Uh, unfortunately, Velo will not be able to attack because of Dragwaiba's limitations, so I'm going to go into Lagia anyways, and now I pretty much control the game. 
Okay, so his turn, he draws into Heretics. The bad thing about Heretics is you need multiple cards in order to do something. Uh, if you just draw into a single card like Sue, uh, you probably can't go off, so you'll have to wait a turn. Uh, so f lucky for me, I'm going to poke in for some damage right here. All right, battle face, and I'm going to attack. <clears throat> I draw into another Forbidden Lance, so right now I have two Forbidden Lances and a uh, and a uh, Dimension Prison, so I feel pretty safe. <coughs> Alright, so this is where things get interesting. He draws into another Convocation, like I said, Heretic deck, pretty awesome. Uh, you know, you get three Convocations and stuff like that, uh, and you are you can just Special Summon out things like they're nothing, you can special summon out like Tefnuit, and then you can special summon out Sue, and then you can go off into a whole bunch of shenanigans. Now, unlike before, with the bottomless, I don't want to do anything preemptive. I don't want to negate the summon of anything. I feel like Lagia's effect is much more important than any of these back row, because uh, Lagia's effect can stop summons. This is in fact like a solemn warning. Uh, so if I'm able to stop uh, these things with other cards, I will try always to use the other cards to get rid of them, uh, rather than use Lagia's effect. Like always, I want to use use Lagia's effect when it really counts. Okay, so that turned out pretty well for me, got rid of all of his monsters on the field, and it's my turn, my opponent surrenders. I hope you guys enjoy this duel, I hope you like this dinosaur deck, I, I think it's pretty cool, it's like a beatdown deck, it's pretty retro, and at the same time it's very, um, very cool, and it's probably pretty cost effective as well. So I hope you guys enjoy the duel, this is Gary Cheesy Duels, signing out.